Hi guys, today I'm looking at the um, setting the parameters for model A2-8022 variable frequency drive that I fitted to my old Bridgeport mill. First thing I did was to connect the, um, the three phase inputs here. You can, um, this one will actually take a single phase as well um, and the three phase to the motor here. Under here you've got um, the other terminals for if you're going to fit an external speed control uh, or run it from your PC. Some of them have a, a speed control knob here as well. The default setting for this came all set to um, 400 hertz which was not compatible with my 60 hertz motor and the, uh, the manual uh, is very basic uh, it pretty much just gives you your, your configuration um, parameters method of changing these um, is you hit set and then you scroll to um, parameter 32 which is the management setting and hit set again and that's set to one so one means I can change um, change the settings normally um, that needs to be set to two which will lock it up I don't need to change anything else on this so I'm going to lock it and then we can go um, come down so PN1 is um, the display <clears throat> you can change um, so at the moment I've just got it set to um, one uh, which um, will just show the frequency input uh, rather than the, the motor speed you can change it and change that setting so it will give you uh, motor speed instead of um, instead of the frequency input so one oh yeah I've locked it out so um, let's go to 32 and unlock it so that we can um, I can show you Okay. Okay, that's now unlocked. Now, if we scroll to one, it will show us the settings. So one is set to one. PN two, which is the um, initial frequency start up, um, is set to um, sixty. Um, PN three. Is set to two. Okay. <clears throat> if we just run through this, so the um, runtime frequency I've just set to these default settings. Um, th PN five uh, enables clockwise and anti-clockwise. If you've got it set to three, um, I've changed the acceleration time and deacceleration times to five seconds. The maximum um, frequency I've set to 60, which is um, the rated frequency for this motor. You can set it to higher, but you do run the risk of overspeeding your motor um, <clears throat> and the maximum, uh, and that's a, the motor rating setting. Um, other ones, so let's we go to this page here that so explains um, explains it a little bit better so on PN3 you can either have an ex if you set it to one you um, you get the external potentiometer um, setting where you can control it by um, a, a separate potentiometer um, I prefer I've, I've got this set to two which is the um, the panel buttons the up and down panel buttons <clears throat> and if you run through um, all of your, your settings you can you can set your um your torque um so that i've got it set for mac for full torque at all speeds and once you're done i then change the um parameter management back to two which is uh disables the modification so let's just do that again so 
and you set set scroll to the pn number you require which in this case is going to be 32 hit set again that tells you what it is and then change it to whatever you want and hit set again and that records it so now i've locked out the pn settings so you can see that the initial frequency um, setting i set for 60 60 hertz so if i hit run you can see that should ramp up in the five seconds i set it to <clears throat> that's actually great running in reverse at the moment so if we stop that forward reverse now it's going to go forwards hit run you can see it starts to ramp up and down and that's it hope this was helpful um, if you've got any other questions leave it in the comments below thank you very much bye